Hello there YouTube friends, it's Narika here. So in my last video, Lessons with Father 2, I had a park bench as one of the props. Today, I'm going to show you how I made that park bench. Okay, so some of the supplies that we're going to need are a box cutter, scissors, glue gun, hot glue sticks, construction paper, glue stick, and some small painter sticks. Some other supplies that we're going to need that I forgot to list are a cutting mat, pencil, marge podge, ruler, and some handy dandy cardboard. Let's get started. First, I went on Pinterest to find some pictures of park benches that I liked. Once I found one that was suitable, I sketched out the frame using a Barbie doll to make sure that it's to scale. I wish I would have made this seat a little wider, but you can use my error to improve your park bench. Then I cut out the sketch and used it as a template. We need to make a total of 8 legs, 4 for each side. That's math y'all. Next, I place my template on top of the cardboard and use my handy dandy pencil to trace the template on the new cardboard. Once I have a few templates traced, it's time for the dangerous part. This is why this project isn't for kids. Using the knife to cut out the bench legs. I suppose that you could do this part for your kids, but there will be other parts that you, the adult, will need to help the child with. Please be careful with this part. Sometimes it's best to just score the cardboard, especially around these curved areas then go back in to get more depth to really cut it out but just be careful because cutting yourself with a knife is not fun trust me clearly i've experienced this before i sped up this part a little bit faster to move things along because if you know me, there's no way that I move this fast in real life. I'm a slowpoke at everything. I just think I'm good at taking my time. Okay, now back to the tutorial. Once you have all eight of the stencils cut out, we need to glue them together. Four together will make one arm of the bench chair. We will stack them together like so. The way in which I like to glue cardboard together is I put a layer down of glue stick first. Once that's down, I go in with my hot glue gun. This is where an adult is required because a hot glue gun is hot and the glue is even hotter, so be careful with this part. If you'd like your child to do this on their own, you could probably use liquid glue, like liquid Elmer's glue, and just give it time to dry between layers or stack them all together and then let them dry but it's going to take time for the glue to dry or you know what worked really well that old glue paste that you used to get in school like that would be perfect for this I don't even know if they still sell that what a great product and I remember how good it smelled I don't know if they still make that I'm going to check and see but um, comment down below if you remember the smell of that glue paste that I'm talking about and also if you know somebody who uh, used to eat the glue tell me below too I love to hear that all right next step now is we've got our two stacks glued together I went in and I trimmed off and made them a little bit more even because some of the layers weren't completely together but I went in and trimmed it up so now we have to cover the cardboard because we don't want all those lines to be shown so I just measure a width a little bit thicker than the legs of the bench so and then I cut strips out that will cover the bottom and the top using my hot glue gun I put a little bit on the end to attach the strip first to, to secure it in place then I add some hot glue gun to the back and I do a few long lines and then I make sure I press the, paper, the strip of paper in that way it secures quickly because hot glue does dry fairly fast 
and you really want to make sure that it's sticking well. As I come around this turn, I just do a little bit at a time because I really want to make sure that the glue doesn't dry on me before I have a chance to really stick it down. So here I'm just working, making sure I cover all the areas with the strip of paper. Once I get to the end, I cut the paper and secure the end of the strip with some glue on the bottom. As you can see, some of the paper is longer than the bench itself. So now I have to go in and cut the paper in intervals so I could fold it over. I want to do this because I don't want that raw edge to be showing so by covering it this way it's going to give it a cleaner look. So I go in around the chair and just cut in certain places. You're going to need more cuts around the curves than the straight edges but I want to cut that way I'm able to fold it down. So you can see here as I cut I'm able to fold, if I can't fold it then I make another cut so I'm able to fold it down over the edge of the bench and I do this on both sides of the bench. Once I have all the sides cut down it's time for me to go in with my glue stick and glue all those sides down. Here you can see what it looks like when everything is glued down. It looks pretty good. You can also see that I did the inside of the bench as well. So we take some of our construction paper and lay the bench on top of it because now we have to cover up these sides, the flat sides. So I make sure I have enough paper to cover it. As you can see I covered the other leg of the bench as well. So now all we have to do is glue everything down. As you can see, my trusty hot glue gun is back in the picture to help us work. I use the same technique as before by using my glue stick to glue down the first layer, getting everywhere that I need to stick. Then I go in with my hot glue gun around the perimeters. Once I have all the glue on, I place it on the construction paper, pressing down hard to make sure it adheres well, and then I begin the cutting process. I put my cutting mat underneath, and I use my X-Acto knife to carefully cut out. Be careful, adult is needed for this step. An adult is needed for this step. Safety scissors will not do the job. An adult is needed. Things are looking pretty good now that everything's cut out. I just have some leftover tabs at the end and I'm going to cut that down and glue it down so the entire bottom is covered. And I like this because it gives the legs a little bit more sturdiness. So I have done this with both sides and it's really looking good but I think the black color of the construction paper is very dull and I want to give it a shinier look so I'm taking my Mod Podge hair and I'm going to lightly paint a layer over the construction paper. It really has to be a light layer because as you can see in the first one I did I used too much Mod Podge and it's beginning to bubble and I really don't want that you know so use a very little light layer of Mod Podge on here. Spread the Mod Podge thinner than you think you can get it. We're not using the Mod Podge in this area for actually gluing things together. We're just using it for aesthetics. We're trying to get that gloss that the Mod Podge is going to give. So a very thin layer is needed and I only did one layer because that's really all I needed and you'll see how it turns out here. Mm -hmm. 
make sure to mod podge all sides of the bench but wait till it dries before you flip it over and do the other side and with the wave of the hand my mod podge is dry not really but here are the finished products I'm really liking how they're looking they have a great shine to them so now it's time that we add the planter sticks painter sticks <laughs> to the bench to finish off the bench finally here I'm just placing the sticks down to see how many I can get on the bench if you notice that the painter sticks actually have a notch in it like I think this is for the handle I'm making sure that I am switching the directions of which it of which they're laying on the bench I don't want them all in a row I kind of like this because it makes it more authentic because some bench planks are not all the same some of them are gonna have little divots in them so make sure that if you get these exact painter sticks that that notch is not all lined up because I think it's gonna look a little weird so now I'm just gluing down finding figuring out where I place where I'm placing the painter sticks and I'm gluing it down to one side of the bench going to put my thumb over it to secure it you know and wait till it dries because if I don't it's just gonna slide down so I'm waiting for it to dry making sure it's in the right position before I glue down the next side now I'm gluing down the other side and sticking the plank on the other bench side and holding it until it dries. Now things are gonna move a little faster because once you have that main side, main plank glued down, it's just, now I'm just gluing down the rest. So here I'm just using my handy dandy glue gun, gluing them down, finding the placement, putting my globs to do glue down and sticking down the plant painter stick. I don't know why I keep calling it a planter stick. It's for paint. So here you can see I'm only able to get two of the painter sticks down for the seat portion. This is where I wish I would have made the bench a little wider. I mean the dolls fit here but I wish there was just a little bit more space. If I had made it just one more plank wider I think I would have liked it more and then I could no, actually I like the height of it but I wish it was just a little wider so that's the one thing I would have changed so when you're sketching out your template I would just make the seat portion a little wider that way the dolls can fit better on the bench but overall I really like this I think it looks good here's the final product the bench alone here are some dolls sitting on the bench oh so I did some research and it seems as though Elmer's no longer makes the school paste they do have some generic paste available but it's not the same with the Elmer's and the orange cap and that little stick that does so much work for you but nostalgia we'll just have to take our memories thanks so much for watching please like comment share and subscribe and I really enjoyed this I think I'm gonna do more of these so if you'd like me to do more just let me know in the comments below also Watch Lessons with Father 2, which I'll have linked below so you can actually see our park bench in a video. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Bye!